Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here, and we're going to collect two tungsten ingots in half a minute. First, marking them on the map with our raven. And I'm at the high point in Hamptonshire. I'll show you the map in a minute. And now I'm going to kill the both guards carrying those tungsten ingots. There's one. You can see I have the tungsten ingot looted, and there is the second one. And there is the second tungsten ingot. Amazing. Amazing. And I like how the guards are kind of just looking around there, trying to figure out what happened. Like, where did the wealth go that we were carrying and supposed to protect? It's all of a sudden gone. But we know where it went. Our raven stole it. That's right. This is using the new raven loot skill, which became available with the latest update, patch 1.2.0. And to make the patrols respawn, we are going to go to a different location outside the region. I'm going to this high point, or I guess it's a harbor harbor fast travel point. I like this one because there is a titanium ingot right near where you spawn in that little house there. But it doesn't matter where you go. So this is pretty fantastic that this tungsten ingot farm that I discovered and premiered on this channel on January 10th, over three months ago, is not only still working, but it's gotten even better even faster to collect the tungsten. So now I'm going to save my game and then reload the save I just made and return to the high point and the patrols will have respawned. And I should say the patrols won't always be in these locations. They won't always be close to the high point. So you won't always be able to kill the guards using a ranged attack. But when you can, I highly recommend doing it because it makes it a lot faster. And I, I like to use the predator bow, but it doesn't matter which bow you use. Oh, and here they are again, very close to the high point. There is the first patrol. Let me go kill the guard carrying the ingot. Oop, I missed the headshot, so I'm going to have to shoot him once, twice, and three times. And then wait a sec for my raven to go grab the ingot. There it is. I'm also getting titanium. The amount of titanium you'll get will vary depending on your level. This is a max level character I'm using, so you might get less titanium, but you'll always get a tungsten ingot. All right, let's find that second patrol. Oh my gosh, they're right next to the high point again. Oh, wow. All right, let's see if I can get it on the first shot. Yes, headshot. All right, I'm going to keep it zoomed in. There you can see my raven go grabbing the loot from him and flying away. Oh, man, that is amazing. I really love this new raven loot skill. In fact, let's go look at it on the skill tree. So this is one of the three new skills added with the latest patch, and there's one in each raven bear and wolf and this is the new raven skill so it's going to be at the bottom and i just unselected some of the other skills so i'd have a skill point to spend for this one raven's loot your raven gathers loot from targets killed with ranged attacks so it's basically auto loot but for ranged attacks instead of melee attacks because the auto loot skill only works for melee attacks so this just lets you auto loot targets killed with your bow. And then in case you haven't seen the other two skills that got added, the one in the bear is Fearless Leaper. When activated, the leap attack damage has a larger area of effect and can be done at any height. And then the one in the wolf is Loot Food. Eivor now has a higher chance of looting food from dead bodies, which will be particularly useful in river raids where 
you start with zero rations and have to find them as you go. This is Amber. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.